You've probably heard of a monorail before. The concept is nothing new, having been around in some form since the 1820s. The word monorail literally means one rail, and while there is one rail on modern monorails, it is contacted in multiple positions to maintain stability. But there was one monorail in history that did things quite differently. Lewis Philip Brennan was an Irish inventor who had a unique design for a new kind of monorail in 1903 when he filed the first patent. The vehicle would run on just a singular train rail, and to prevent it from falling over it would contain two gyroscopes. A gyroscope is essentially a spinning weight, and in this case the rotation of the weight would be used to prevent the vehicle from just falling over. Brennan experimented with several scale models, all of which proved that his concept would work with the War Department eventually funding a full-scale version. This design of monorail did have one advantage over conventional trains and other monorail designs. The vehicle would naturally lean into corners, similar to how an aircraft does, allowing it to take turns at high speed while subjecting passengers to little lateral force. The design was also rather simple to build, as it used one rail, it could be constructed in about half the time as a normal railroad. The full-scale version was taking passengers on trips around the factory that was set up to produce the vehicles in 1909, where the vehicle was planned to be tested and revised. But a competing design from Germany produced by August Scherl was due to be unveiled at the start of 1910. To be first, Brennan unveiled his design to the public in November of 1909, before Scherl could do the same. The first public rides were then given in 1910 at the Japanese and British Exhibition in London carrying passengers around a small loop at 20 miles per hour. One such passenger was future Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who by many accounts seemed enthusiastic about the design. Brennan's vehicle was ultimately more favorable to Sherrill's, as Sherrill's design was much smaller and could only carry four passengers. Therefore, his design garnered little interest, as it was too small to be practical. Brennan's design did get people talking, but not for long. As you may have noticed, none of these designs are around today. So what happened? Well, everybody at the time thought that it would just fall over, despite Brennan saying repeatedly that if the engine lost power, the vehicle could stay upright for over half an hour, which was plenty of time for the stabilizing legs to be lowered. Even after he demonstrated this, the investors and the public weren't convinced, and the idea was eventually abandoned. Both prototypes were scrapped, and Brennan would sadly die in a road accident a few years later. But even by then, the concept was completely abandoned. The gyro monorail, as it was known, was definitely a unique idea that still seems futuristic today, despite being invented over a hundred years ago. But ultimately, the world went in a different direction, and the gyro monorail is history. Be sure to subscribe for more.